<clears throat> All right, so uh, in this video, I'm just going to try to walk through how I remove the um, the battery for travel. Uh, so when you're if you're trying to fly with this, uh, depending on which airline you go, um, technically the battery should be able to be um, checked. But anyway, the safest bet is actually to remove the battery uh, and then reassemble. Now this isn't intended to essentially be a removable battery. It's, so it's, it, you do actually have to literally take it apart. It's very simple. It's uh, a bit um, intimidating the first time, but once you kind of see how quickly it works, um, it's not too bad. I do it in about seven minutes uh, as a way of timed it just to see and it's uh, without really having to rush. So a couple of the setup things to do. First of all, I have a fender on here and you may not have one. I also have float plates, which are like little plastic plates that go on the bottom to protect it from damage. Um, so these are things that I'm going to remove quickly and then uh, we'll get started with the actual tutorial. Know this, the battery we're removing is under the, um, the tail section down here. This, we're going to have to access this part as well, so we can't have either of these plates on, but um, you do not actually need to remove your entire fender if you have one. I would just need to loosen this portion of it. Now I'm going to remove the whole thing because um, I just think it might help with visibility for the video itself. Okay, so my fender is off. Now, um, I also actually, I have a little uh, carry strap right here. And so that's off. Now, I'm gonna remove these float plates. A couple of things, the tools that I have um, that I like and use here uh, are gonna be I just use a little cheap Black & Decker electric screwdriver. You can get whatever brand you want, but I suggest actually getting one. It's just easy, fast. You don't have to. You can just hand crank, but you're going to need a number one Phillips head bit. You're going to need a, a 1 8 inch uh, Allen key and a 1 quarter inch Allen key. So uh, also, I recommend getting having a little extender. You don't have to do this, but um, at least if I were to put um, this Phillips head in here, it sort of sinks to the point where it almost disappears. That can sometimes be annoying, especially the quick getting it out. So placing an extender makes it much easier to use. So anyway, not necessary, but I do use it. So let me take these plates off right quick. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so that's off. So this is what your board's gonna look more stock. Um, now, a stock board will have screws in these four holes and in these six. These six need to be pulled. These four do not for what we're going to be doing. But I already have them out. So this is the first step. This right here is a compartment that houses the wire harness for the battery. So the first thing we're going to do is remove these two screws. back and straight out. I tend to put the screws back in there just to hold on to them. In fact, actually I will sometimes, depending on how much reassembly you're going to do for travel, um, you can always put them back in here. So this is one part that is a little tricky. Your first time you're going to want a flathead. So I would actually, well, if you're going to travel, you're going to take it apart before you leave. Um, so right in here, this whole wire harness slides on and off. Okay. Now you'll notice that there's still something sticking out of this um, part of the board. Uh, this outer housing slides over top of that. So if you get a nice, hefty flathead screwdriver, you can slide right underneath this part or in the corners to finally loosen it. Um, also, there is initially, mine's broken off, but there's a little lever right here. If I slide this, it looks the same before, <laughs> unless it's broken. It slides out twice. Uh, it means it stops and you go a little farther and that's when it's free. Um, and anyway, it's easy to break it. If it does, it really doesn't matter. But um, just letting you know, if you do need to loosen that and then you can pull this whole air harness out and you're good to go. So now I'm going to change over to my size one Phillips head. We've got two little Phillips head screws right here to, to remove. 
they are tiny and they are easily lost so just be cautious of that um, these are just little um, they just help to secure this wire harness inside this rail because this right here is the battery that we're going to be removing so I just put them back in there Okay, I'll set these aside. And so now we are ready to uh, get this whole wire harness out, but to do so, we actually have to loosen the wheel from this rail. There are two bolts right here. And that is where the one half inch, or sorry, the one quarter inch uh, Allen key comes into play. The first time you remove these, these will be very tight. And so don't think you're breaking something. Um, now we're not taking the wheel completely out, but what I am going to do is, it initially your first time taking this apart, it might not budge much. It's pretty locked on there. But what I'm doing is I'm actually pushing the wheel, um, if you will, up the bottom. Okay. By doing that, I can now first get this wire harness out here, and now there's a little housing right here that I'm just going to pop it out of, and now it's free. That's all we needed to do. So you can even go ahead and screw these back in here. Maybe not all the way, because you're gonna take them out later anyways, but get them back in there so you're not worried about that, anything else messing up, because you've accomplished what you need to. Okay, so now what we need to do is actually get the battery out. This is the where it gets a little more, uh, a few more screws involved. So um, there's gonna be two screws right here in the bottom back to the 1 8 inch I'm going to set these aside because I'm going to turn the board over now I don't want to lose them, have them fall out with oh, not know where there are two screws holding this deck plate on Now, technically, there are four. There were four because those two we just removed are on the on the tail end of this. Just like that. So this plate is now free. The screws will actually go into the battery, so we don't really want to put them back in. Um, I tend to actually reassemble everything. It's just easier, less likely for me to lose something. So now there are two screws right here that we need to remove. And I actually haven't removed this in a couple months, so I'm having to remind myself as I go along. Okay, so these two screws are out. And so now this part just slides out. If you look closely, Just slides in and slides out. So now the battery is fully released and we can simply slide it out. All intact, set it aside. Now I'm not going to go through the process in this video, but what I would do, I'm not going to screw them all together. I would slide this back in here. Put the two screws right there. Put this deck plate back on here. Screw those two screws back in here. Screw these two back in there. And that's it. I would, and then I would actually put this plate back on here as well. Because then I just got fewer things to worry about. All I have um, are these two little guys right here. And then, um, yeah, that, and the battery. So just fewer things for me to have to keep uh, set aside. Now you can, um, uh, keep things um, organized. I would put them in a couple plastic bag, a Ziploc bag. Put them along with your drivers, your brip, your burrs, bits, and um, then you're pretty well taken care of. So that's it. That's the disassembly. Now I am going to go ahead and go back through the reassembly. It's the same exact thing, just in reverse. But um, I want you to see. Now one thing to keep in mind. I also put this in like a one-gallon trash bag. It really only 
encompasses this. You can't really zip it up. It's just easier and it's dirty. So just I'm gonna throw this in my checked carry on baggage. So um, <clears throat> I need to uh, put this in check and I need to put this, sorry, this is gonna be in my carry on because that way they can check it, they can look at it, they can confirm the size of the battery that it's uh, you're okay. This, I just check it, throw it in my, my check bag. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go through reassembly and then uh, that's it. So uh, we've got everything taken back apart. We'll, I mean, we'll say we shipped with everything. We've taken it back apart, which is a good little exercise. And when you get you know, um, uh, when you get back to town or get into your destination, that you can re disassemble it so you know how to reassemble. Um, okay, so we need to slide the battery pack in. We'll deal with everything else in there in just a moment. So once again, we had this plate right here first. Fixed with these two screws, these little, in case you do, there it is, lose your place and you forget where they are, you want to reference the video, very, very small little tit, uh, Allen screws here. They are small, medium, and large. I did not measure the actual length, but that is one way to remember small, medium, large. So two small screws right here. So these are um, medium length. Don't tighten that too much. Yeah, because sometimes it's hard to get the second one in. I think I may have. screws right there. <clears throat> you can tell they're the right size because uh, if they were too short they would just drop all the way in. So anyway again these are long. Okay so that's done. Now we're going to Get this all straightened out. Just pull it down, slide the wire harness in there, and then slide it back up. And drive the screws just to get things going. And there's the other one right here. <clears throat> So this driver I like because I can turn it here and now I can just use it like a regular screwdriver. Because these I do want to be pretty darn tight. They are carrying me. Okay, now we just need to put these two little guys right here in place. So just keep in mind the little screw which I just dropped. Don't do that. It's right here. Um, it, remember it goes in the top here. Just orientation. You don't want to flip it over. I don't know how well you can see this because of the angle of the camera, but there's not much to see, honestly. Don't strip these screws. Plug the wire harness back in. Wouldn't be a terrible idea to plug the wire harness back in um, <clears throat> while you are, uh, before you even tighten that all down, 
give you a little more play, but anyway. I want just a heads up. I have before accidentally put it together like this where it wasn't fully seated underneath this little notch right here. Just make sure you're snugged up. Lock and key. And your board is now back to rideable. So again, if you did take these screws out, you want to put them back in because you don't want to get junk in there. Um, for me, I'm going to put my float plates back in, back on. All right, that's all she wrote. Hope that helps.